Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I'm bringing you a special NFC breakdown of the Wild Card Weekend. We have the Detroit Lions taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe right now so you can get all the updates and all the hottest breakdowns from the NFL Weekend Playoffs. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into the game action. Coming into this game, the Detroit Lions squeaked in, so did the Seattle Seahawks. They have not been playing their best football as of late, looking down the road the last couple of weeks. Injuries, injuries, injuries have affected to both these teams. You look at uh, Earl Thomas breaking his leg, fracturing his tibula, and you look at the Detroit Lions and their woes on defense and also their starting quarterback, Matthew Stafford, is playing with a fractured finger. So this is going to be big time football. You look at the uh, no-fly zone for the Seattle Seahawks, the, 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 the big bad defense, if you will, the Legion of Boom, if you will, a lot of the nicknames that they've been getting over the years, they're without their best defensive player, Earl Thomas, on the back end. You look at Cam Chancellor being the enforcer and Earl Thomas being the little enforcer who does the air traffic control, who makes all the calls at the line of scrimmage, who changes plays for the defense. The uh, If Cam Chancellor is the heart, he's the soul, Earl Thomas, and I think he's going to be missed greatly in this one. The Seahawks defense has been giving up several different plays and struggling late in the football season because Earl Thomas is not back there, and whoever they put back there continuously gives up big plays. Russell Wilson and company have been struggling to score. They have not been able to run the ball effectively, so you know with that being said, the offense is going to have to produce more. Jimmy Graham is catching more passes, but he's not producing more touchdowns, if you will. You look on the other side of that ball in the Detroit Lions. They can put up points with the best of them. They have an opportunistic defense that not only is one of the younger defenses in the NFL, but it's improving each and every week. You look at what they did against Aaron Rodgers last week. You can't hold that against the Detroit Lions because Aaron Rodgers can go off on anybody. I think Russell Wilson will have a little less time to throw the ball than Aaron Rodgers had because you're looking overall at the, the Packers offense as being a quick, quick, fast, fast offense that literally you're getting the ball out two, three seconds into route. And they use a lot of screens. They use a lot of dink and dunk. They use a lot of like smaller routes that they can get the ball out very quickly. So Aaron Rodgers doesn't have to hold on to the ball. That's not the Seahawks offense. They're going to try to get a lot of big plays against the Detroit Lions. But the thing is, the key, the Detroit Lions offensive line is going to have to be able to stop Michael Bennett and Averill. I think that overall, this is a NASCAR style defense, uh, just similar to the Giants when they won the Super Bowl, when you have two elite rushers on each end and they can get off and go at any time. If they get off and go off on any time, then the Detroit Lions are going to lose this football game very quickly. You got to keep in mind, Matthew Stafford needs time to throw the ball. They go down the field a lot with this offense with the Detroit Lions, so you're going to have to have everything in place. You're going to have to be able to hold that pass block a little bit longer, maybe three or four seconds rather than just two seconds. So I know Michael Bennett and company are going to be coming, and they're going to be in Seattle, and that's why I'm picking the Seattle Seahawks to win this football game. If it was in Detroit, I would have picked Detroit, but with lack of run game, with lack of a healthy quarterback as far as having a fractured finger, I think that a couple of the throws will be wide to start the game. I think that they may turn the ball over even early in this football game, and Seattle's going to capitalize on it. The 12th man is a real factor. If you've seen them play at home, it's a big noise factor. So I think that the Seahawks are going to take care of business this week, and then they're going to advance in the playoffs. All you Lions fans, all you Seahawks fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, check out Just My Picks for all the breaking news and all the hottest updates in sports. And as always, we want you to come back next week so you get the breakdown for each and every playoff game in the NFL playoffs. And share this video on your social media platforms so we can debate with you and your friends and family each and every week. Thank you so very much for tuning in. We'll see you next week with another round of the NFL playoffs breakdown. Thank you so very much.